Should we move on to the Dark Zone? I know a lot of people want okay, to talk about see. the Dark Zone and PvP. I'm not and, expecting uh, much at all now. Most of us not to spend enough time on that. Please hit me with it, man. People have been itching for Dark Zone information. Yeah, I mean, the Dark Zone is important to us. We uh, didn't have an opportunity to have a new Dark Zone in the New York map, but the old Dark Zones have been revamped uh, mm -hmm. in terms okay. of systems and in terms mm -hmm. of what we're trying to accomplish. So we're trying to find our way back to some of what made the Division I Dark Zone experience great. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've kind of deliberated so along Guess and nothing we more. kind of feel we want to streamline it, make it quite intuitive. We want to make sure that it's it's a place you only go to if you're ready to throw down. Mm. Like it's not a place to go and uh, harmlessly farm. Exactly, dude. Exactly, it's a place dude. To only go if you're ready to encounter other players. Even if you're not going to fight them, you can play alongside them or whatever. That that's what that zone is for. There's enough PVE farming in the game, in the in the mm. missions and the open world exactly. and stuff like that. We just talked about with Trek as well. Please yeah. clip yeah. that and save it, dude. More reason to yeah. where the PvE is, and Shout I know out, discussion we've had a lot with wins. the community yeah, since a long it. time ago, people ask, a PvE dark zone, it's really not needed from the sounds of things. No, and, and some, of, some, of the, so some of the things we're doing, we're making sure that the stuff you get from the dark zone, be it gear, which is going to be good gear from mm -hmm. the dark zone. Th or, that's important to emphasize. Yeah, absolutely. That, that it's actually, gonna be good the dark gear. zone is one of the best places to go for very... Yeah. It should be the best, not one of the best. Gear? Like, we'll it should draw more. more. There is. There's six. So people go there, actually. I like and one of them is... Ooh, spicy. Spicy. Yeah. Cool. So, whether you go there to get gear, or maybe, you know, at some point you're done with your build or whatever, and you go there for currencies to buy it from the weekly dark zone vendor, the currency or Dark Zone XP, those things can only be gotten from things that have to do with interacting with other players. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, kills, really should be end game for PvE and Dark Zone for um, PvP. Revives, uh, so helping people, protecting extractions even if they're not yours, yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. killing rogues, being rogue, going manhunt, all of the things that have to do with other players. Yep. Those are the things that give those things. That means you're not going to get any uncontaminated loot that you can just waltz out with. Mm -hmm. You got to extract. Currency, good. you can you can see what's on the gear as it drops now. That's text. perfect. So you can make decisions, and maybe you disassemble it, and then you get some uh, dark zone currency, but that's also contaminated. Also got to Oh, that's actually nice. And uh, so you can deconstruct it, then you extract and get the currency. To that's the that's nice. Points, mm -hmm. and we've also like done some tweaking to the difficulty level, so it's not so such a hard wall sometimes, and then. One of the other big things... There's a lot of under-the-hood stuff. There's That's a lot actually, of little under-the-hood di stuff. It's difficult to kind of... Um, we're kind of glossing over... Yeah, yeah. and we're going to talk um, more about the Dark Zone. work that yeah. have been put yeah. into the Dark yeah. Zone. We're going to have a bit Gustav more to Fabian. talk about. Yeah. 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 Shout out to Gustav and Fabian for doing it. But I want to... I'm just going to go on a Please. little bit more about it. Mm -hmm. So, also the, the occupied versus non-occupied Dark Zone. Yeah. We kind of revamped that concept. So... We don't want you to feel excluded from any of the Dark Zones and rotation because they're in a certain mode, and we don't want you to feel uh, that you have to play a certain Dark Zone because it's in a certain mode. So now the Dark Zone rules are the same, and the Dark Zone scaling is sort of the same everywhere. So there's no occupied versus normal. We've revamped That's good uh, as well, I think. the rogue system to a simpler rogue system. The, what used to be the occupied Dark Zone is still different in that it's invaded. That week, mm. just like missions get invaded, so it's the Black Tusk that you're fighting. But mm -hmm. otherwise, it's still it's the same Dark Zone. We're taking the best parts of both, so you know uh, the manhunt, kind of going high manhunt and stuff like that. We've taken that from the ODZ, applied it everywhere. Uh, we've gotten rid of like Gray Rogue, so like you're just Rogue and then you're yeah, that season. was kind of useless, uh, I think too. Or you're not Rogue, mm -hmm. uh, so it's much simpler in that regard. Mm. I worry, I was worried when you said uh, we've. Simplified the rogue system, you're going to gloss over that. So I was, <laughs> was going to no, ask no. you to please tell us what that actually means so for players. So we, it can be controversial for, few, for people, but let's just dive in. So we want you to be able to, it is it is a push button to go rogue, but mm -hmm. we want you to get that moment that you currently get in the ODZ where you can get the drop on someone. We don't want to lose that. Mm -hmm. So we revamped the push to go rogue to be very, very fast. So it's like a 300 MS press, I think, mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Very fast That's button quite. press. And it doesn't abort what you're doing. So if you're aiming, you can press it and, and you just go rogue. Oh, and I can sprint can and go shooting. rogue? Um, 
so that's that's good. That's, that's really so important good, because though. you can still like walk against someone, go rogue, and then start shooting them. Mm. But you we, you still get that little split second of like announcement that nearby agent is going rogue. <laughs> to maybe react. The millisecond so people we think be able it's to react our to that. Best compromise between you know the kind of. I think it shouldn't be a push a button though, but uh, it's better than what we have. And getting a slight heads up anyway. But I mean, the three hundred millisecond alert is quick. Right. That's quick, but it's PvP. You gotta have yeah. quick reactions. Yeah. yeah. So like that whole voice line. Speaking of speaking of timing, yeah. uh, we'd be remiss if we didn't discuss changes to the talents Thanks. and the timing on extractions and how long it takes for the helicopter to yeah. arrive. Ooh. It's it's quite a butt clenchy experience now. Uh, I love how serious you say that. Uh, we've actually <laughs> implemented some <laughs> butt clenching. We, we, we applied uh, a yeah. uh, non-denominal multiplier to the butt clench factor <laughs> that is not insignificant. Yeah. So It is after 10 p.m. here. This yeah. That's yeah, cool. Okay. Yeah. So it, it's Way past my bedtime. And we've actually, um, so instead of just two extraction points, however. Size, mm. situational yeah. awareness. So there's so we have the emotes too? Zone, so there's a little bit more options. Mm -hmm. But when you fire that flare, you're going to sweat. You're gonna feel it because it's mm. it's a big signal that goes out. Everyone in the zone yeah. can see it, mm. and because everything is so enraptured or revolves around these player-to-player -player interactions and how um, important extracting is, because it's the only way to actually get this valuable loot out. Especially now, considering the fact that some of that loot is quite I feel like hijacking and is gonna be and, insane and, yeah. and uh, exotic. Uh, you're going. It's 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 dicey. Yeah. It's, it's and and we also went in and revamped what you get. Uh, the perks you get, you know, for the, your yeah. uh, Dark Zone level mm. and remove the things that kind of try to avoid PvP interactions. So mm -hmm. things that shorten extractions and stuff like that have been revamped some. So just to make sure that we maintain that balance where you can get to an extraction that you see um, going on. Mm -hmm. um, and because, and you, you, it now means something what Dark Zone drops is, somebody, because the XP can yeah. only be gotten from things that have to do with other players, including uh, reviving mm -hmm. players, and including protecting extraction zones, even if you don't have something on the rope. You can be a guardian, you can just yeah. patrol the Dark Zone, yeah. protect other players, protect their extracts, you know. I mean, they might look at you sideways, but, yeah. then, you know, no, it's, get I, that Shepherd rank up. I love that. But, but you also lose significant if you die to yeah. PvP, yeah. so it means something to maintain a high Dark Zone rank. Cool. The, uh, you, someone was asking about the friendly player interaction. This sounds really fucking good, though. I'm not going to lie. It sounds really good, all this stuff. Game, we talk about uh, the Dark Zone. But I really want to say it now. Uh, the VoIP, by default, yep. is now on. It's, it's a zone about interacting with other players. Now, it's about back time, to dude. One default, which is you speak, they hear you. You yeah. can opt out. You yeah. can take turn it to team only, or you can turn it off. Yeah. What why you would hear. You opt out of. No, but what? I mean, sometimes not everyone's as nice Man. as you, Canadian Bruce. <laughs> I apologize to everyone I kill in the dark. You're like, oh, yeah, you do. Uh, I'm sorry, so sorry. I, uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. And then we're doing <laughs> accent now. Hmm. I don't know, man. Yeah, so I go for it. We, we probably forget things right now about the dark zone that are important, but I think that the what ammo some, crates. But it sounds yeah, like we added ammo crates at every extraction site just so you can have somewhere to replenish. I think it sounds like you're gonna farm like crazy, you deconstruct shit you don't want, you get currency in your backpack, you go and extract, and you're gonna have so much value on you. So if you get it out, great. If you don't, it sucks, right? Which I fucking love. Or you are dangerous to people who are there to get. Yeah, I know the core is still a problem, but the changes here are really fucking that good. Heart of what it is to be in the dark zone. I like it, and I can't wait for people to experience it and yeah. let us know what they think about it. Oh. Someone was asking about the dark zone in New York. We haven't uh, had the chance to make a new dark zone in the in the New York map, um, cool. so unfortunately not. Maybe um, they I want to mention though, a lot of PvP players out there forget this. Uh, maybe a, it's a, the gear changes. The changes you, we've been talking about and mm -hmm. we've been showing, like the amount of impact that and the complete rebalance of the skills with the skill mm -hmm. tier refactoring. And still the core is a bit messed up, dude. That affects how PvP dude. plays mm -hmm. in the in the you know short term. What it feels like to one on one someone or one v four someone or whatever. Those things have significantly changed, and we've really, really spent a lot of time thinking about talents, mm -hmm. thinking about skill balance, thinking about these things, and how that feels in the dark zone. Mm -hmm. I know, like, let, let's be real. I know a lot of PvP players out there have felt like we haven't been talking about these yeah. things. I totally hear you. 
we've been talking about them. We've been talking <laughs> about it them comes as well. up on a daily instance. Like when we're talking Everything. about talents, we're talking yeah. about weapons, we're talking about gear sets. How does this play? How does this feel? What is this going to look yeah. like in the dark zone? All right. To put yeah. you on the spot, obviously yeah. we've got a lot of Division Two stuff coming and a commitment to putting a lot of awesome stuff out mm -hmm. there. Is PvP something that, you know, I know there's a lot of changes coming, but are you going to be looking at it closely for keeping an eye on it and making sure it is as tight as it possibly can be? PvP will always be play where people call us out on if we've uh, done the balance wrong. Yeah. Let's just be real. No, it's true. Uh, because that's when you get exposed to build rather than just use a build. So yeah. for sure we keep an eye on mm -hmm. PvP going forward. I, I spent more time than I care to admit in the Dark Zone in Division 1, and mm -hmm. I've spent at least half of the hours that I've played Division 2 in the Dark Zone as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's what I did near and dear to my heart. Like mm -hmm. I'm always going to be, yeah, we're, yeah. One last thing. We brought back the moment when Isaac tells you that you lost connection to the Shade Network when you <laughs> first go into the Dark Zone to bring back the That's mood huge. of entering a dangerous place. I know it's a <laughs> small thing, detail, but, but it's, it's important. The devil's in the details. Yeah. All right. All okay. right. I like it. I think, um, again, we've been going for uh, Way nigh on an hour and a half, and yeah. I love it, but we still have to get some more people back in here. Um, yeah, thank you. Is it? So there's more exotics. Can you give me one more? Can you give me one more? One more exotic? Wait, gear? Wait, look, piece. gear? Yeah, Okay, gear so piece. Trick or already mentioned Imperial Dynasty, so mm. let's talk about... Well, we could talk about how one of them has changed, Gunslinger yeah. Holster. So that one now, uh, this only applies to pistols, so forget about your sawed-off double barrel. But mm -hmm. while your pistol is holstered in the Gunslinger Dodge City holster, you're building up stacks. And each one of those stacks, if I'm not mistaken, amplifies the damage of the first shot up, of Eric? your pistol when you fire it you by 100% and goes up to 10 stacks. Oh, yeah. No, by yeah. 10 and goes up to 10 stacks. Yeah. That's actually pretty cool. What did no. I say? By 100%. <laughs> by 100%. Anyway, no, yeah. point. each stack multiplies the da amplifies the damage by 100%. So it goes up to 1,000%. When, when you pull that out and shoot, you're going to murder someone. You're going to do a thing. lot of damage with your... Yeah, that will deagle. Okay. Coupled with Rat the fact, pistol. coupled with the fact that we've sped up, hope that it works in PvP. Yep. And coupled with the fact that yep. we've sped up swapping to skills, that's also going to affect PvP as well. Just mm -hmm. like the fluidity of uh, of uh, using all of your tools. Cool. Oh, thank you so much, guys. And so much to say. Again, there's there's so even exciting. more to say. There's a lot coming. We're only three weeks away. Yeah. Ish. So third of March for Warlords of New York, and there's going to be. You know, we've said a lot, but that's really kind of scratching the surface it of is. all of yeah, the things. For sure. Uh, thanks, Bruce, Thank Frederick. You. Uh, Thank stick you. Stick around. We might grab another microphone and try and do some Q&A stuff at the end. Uh, someone says, uh, oh, yeah, no, Ella says, uh, that the Bullet King, <laughs> if someone right. else knew that, it would be really weird. Uh, the Bullet King LMG. You mentioned the Bullet King LMG yeah. that never has to be reloaded. I think in the visuals, you're going to see why. All right. Bag of holding. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, please. Um, all right. Transition. <laughs> yeah, all right. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes uh, to wrap up the stream and, and hang out a little bit more. We'll see you in a few. All right. All bye. Right, bye. Actually, a bit surprised with the with the Dark Zone changes, dude. I think everything they said about Dark Zone, it sounded really fucking good and that they actually understand Dark Zone a bit, dude. So that's the LMG here. But in my opinion, the main problem with the PvP, though, even if Dark Zone is like perfect and shit, it's still like the core of the game in a PvP environment. But I think everything they said about Dark Zone, at least most of it, it sounded re really, really good. I feel like it's gonna be a really like it's it's gonna be a, like high hijack like hijacking people. It's gonna be really, really like worth to do. Because they said that you could deconstruct the uh, contaminated gear, right? And that would turn into Dark Zone credits. But I, as, as I understood it, you would have to extract to get the credits. So you could literally <laughs> be holding like fucking like a shit ton of Dark Zone credits, right? But it was kind of, as I said before, like a lot of focus on player interaction. VIP is back completely. I don't know. I thought it sounded really good, dude. You still have to extract. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like you, you could probably lose all the dark zone credits, right? So you could just hijack somebody. No, Maybe bad. they don't have loot, but they have a shit ton of like not. dark zone credits, right? I think just just that change is gonna make like hijacks way more worth. 
Eric with a 27 month resub, dude. I appreciate the prime, man. A lot of primes today, dude. Been offline for so long. Hey, dude, I appreciate that. I haven't streamed much recently. But I'm gonna be back streaming a lot now, though. Soonish. Next week, I think. Buy with the credits. You can uh, buy from the vendors, right? I think they said you could. Maybe you can convert them as well. I'm not sure. Yeah, but I, I didn't think we would hear much about Dark Sun. I thought it was good. Then we will see. With all the gear changes and meta, like it's still gonna be the same, like slow med kit. Maybe there's a tie, like gear and stuff for that, but probably the same slow movement, same gunplay with barely no recoil. Armor kit slow, I said that. What did I wanna say? But yeah, like everything else stays the same, which is kind of an issue in my opinion, I think. For where I want the PvP to be. But it's definitely going to be worth to try out. For sure. And the Dark Zone changes to me, it sounded re really, really good. We will see how it works out though. But there's a lot of uh, like gear. Gear. It's a lot of talents, like gear talents, I think even weapon talents, that are going to focus more around uh, team play. Because I think they said it earlier as well, they want to have uh, roles a bit more back in the game. So if you add stuff like that, then you can use that in PvP. That might be nice. To have more of that, like, role-based.